My name's Jane Lewis and I'm the uh, Development Director at SKIN. Um, I'm a nurse by profession uh, and I've worked for the company for 14 years. Um, unfortunately, um, the skin will age and I guess because it's the largest organ and probably the most abused, um, we don't look after it as well and it's only when we start to see lines and wrinkles that we start to think about uh, doing something about it. Um, so, you know, uh, as the skin ages, the process of cells being turned over will slow down. It's the kind of working part of the skin, the living part of the skin, um, actually slows down and as it slows, um, things aren't produced. Fibroblasts have a snooze. Um, the uh, hyaluronic acid that's there and making the skin nice and bouncy actually starts to uh, deplete and that's when you start to get the structure changes in the skin. If the fibroblasts aren't active, collagen isn't stimulated and so the collagen we have will actually start to die. And so I always like to think of, of uh, the description of the skin ageing as if you had a, um, a plum, that's something young and youthful, and then a prune is when we get older, so it, it wrinkles up and um, everything that was good and tasty has now actually gone. Um, the, the peels that we actually use um, work differently, they're encapsulated, so they're not going to necessarily cause surface trauma, which people tend to associate with traditional peels. And um, I think that uh, often people feel that you know, they're going to actually have skin falling off and it, it's, it's like a burn. Um, the peels, because they're encapsulated, penetrate the epidermis and the delivery of the chemical is much deeper. What you're trying to do with a peel is actually cause inflammation. And if you actually cause that, then the fibroblasts that are responsible for promoting uh, new collagen uh, will be stimulated to uh, work to make more collagen and that's how you get the plumping of the skin, the much more youthful effect and the dermis will actually start to um, behave in a more youthful way so cells will turn over and if you continue to have peels as a maintenance then you'll keep that um, uh, significant improvement um, at bay. The types of peel that we were using today um, was a Jesner's peel which is a, a light peel um, for somebody of around 30. Um, it will actually help to um, lightly exfoliate the skin um, and actually uh, give it a better, more even colour. Um, people who have it actually say that their skin glows after it. And you'd normally have maybe four in a course and that would be given on a weekly basis along with products as well to actually enhance that benefit. Um, and then the other pill that we use, which was a, a little bit stronger, was something called TCA. Um, these pills are slightly different from the norm in the sense that you don't necessarily have to get an end point of, of whitening of the skin, although in some cases you need that. Um, they actually are triggered or released by water. So it passes through the epidermis, the, the outer layer of the skin, and when it actually comes nearer to the dermis, which is, uh, has more moisture in it, the chemicals are released and so you get uh, the delivery of the chemical much nearer to the actual point of, of, of uh, uh, or your target. Um, our clients claim, and I've seen this amazingly, that the skin looks plumper much, much more quickly than normal conventional peels. Um, and so uh, this has been very helpful for people who've got thicker skin, skin that needs to have some kind of exfoliation, even things like acne scarring. I think that the general public probably don't know what kind of peel is right for them and that's why it's important to have um, uh, in your portfolio many peels, even peels to maintain or peels for the younger age group. And so you can work from things like very mild glycolic peel right up to a, a very strong um, intense TCA peel um, with combination of other peels that would actually be delivered, be delivered by a doctor. Um, and so you would fit somewhere in the middle really. So the more sun damage, the more lines and wrinkles you had, you probably need to have the, the stronger end of that, of that uh, scale. The side effects um, are, 
I guess they're not called side effects as such because when you're peeling the skin you can reveal some of the darker elements of pigmentation that may have been underneath the skin and weren't present to the naked eye. That's why we tend to like to analyse people's skin beforehand um, to just give them a little bit of insight. So if you've got brown marks, if you've had a lot of sun damage, the darkness can come up to the surface and you need to have a, you know, a course of peels, possibly in that case, to actually rid the, 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 the brown, the skin of the brown, because the more you peel, the more it will come up. Um, if you had things like cold sores um, or, or, or something like that, that would be contraindicated. Sometimes people don't even know they had a cold sore and uh, after a peel it's the first time that one of these has presented. So, you know, if you have a cold sore then obviously there would be a need for a prescription for uh, uh, some anti-cold sore um, cream or, or tablets. The downtime will vary from one peel to another. If you have a glycolic peel, no one would know you had it done, but of course the impact will be minimal. And so the Jesner's peel, uh, there may be a little bit of dryness for a couple of days, but not actually peeling. The skin just feels a little drier, and what one would do would just be counteract that by putting extra moisturiser on or sunblock. Um, and the TCA depends again on how much absorption, how aggressive you've worked on it. It could be between two to five days, um, depending on that actual uh, working of the skin. The peels really, uh, the, the frequency of the peels will depend on what you're trying to treat. And so if somebody wants a fresher, brighter look, um, uh, but is 30 years of age, and uh, you know hasn't got a time limit, then it could be every two weeks. So somebody who actually has maybe acne scarring or deeper lines and wrinkles um, will actually be you know embarking on a program. So it might not just be peels, but they could because the skin is going to be thicker, um, more damaged. They could have a peel every week um, because they want to see the results quite quickly. The, the type of uh, peel that you would actually buy over the counter will be limited in its actual active ingredient um, or it will be limited in the size of the granule in the case of a microdermabrasion scrub um, because people always do it, overdo things and so you know you'll go home and you'll rub away and you'll cause an abrasion of the skin and then you know manufacturers will uh, be liable. Um, the key really to coming in and having a, 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 um, a peeling clinic is one, you can have your skin analysed correctly so you're not wasting your money and you want an end point so you want to know what you're going to achieve for that as well um, and of course m much stronger and more appropriate products can be applied onto the skin to get the results that you want in a timely fashion. What we would actually always suggest to people is that when you're actually having a peel in the clinic, you should then consider having um, products, um, and maybe light peeling at home, and so microdermabrasion scrubs, whether that's actually in your wash, uh, products that will help to stimulate your cell turnover, that is very, very important because the two uh, go together very well and of course um, you'll get a, a better, quicker result and then you've got that habit afterwards to continue with the products to maintain. Well, fine lines around the eyes um, will trouble everybody at some point because this is the area where uh, people will um, age more quickly and things like microdermabrasion are just not suitable there because you can't put a suction next to that thin tissue. It is important to get the right kind of peel for the eye because you want to be able to deliver a, a superficial peel so you're actually taking away those fine lines and wrinkles but also to plump up the skin a little bit and then of course hydrating that area. Uh, there are other things that happen to the eye as well so you want to encourage the lymphatic drainage and uh, protection is very important.